When I first saw a refugee camp, at first I was just hit by the enormity of it. There's this sea of tents and 20,000 people. It's overwhelming just being hit by that and saying, okay, I have no excuses. I, I just have to do something. That's why we started IAC. IAC's mission is to provide humanitarian action to aid, empower, and extend hope to those affected by mass atrocities. We work with refugees on providing education for their children. Sports activities and human rights curriculum. At every step of the way, we work next to the refugees. We see the refugees as the ones that have all the solutions within them already. So that's how I decided that we needed to go out there and listen to their stories. Their village was destroyed. The older two sons were killed during the attack on their village by a militia. Uh, then they had to walk across the desert to make it to Chad. Uh, on the walk, another boy, a young boy, died on Ashta's back. Uh, and then they made it to this camp and uh, have been living here since. And this is their home. Yes. Refugee camps are full of doctors, they're full of community organizers, they're full of teachers and midwives and people who've had experience. They've just gone through a horrific experience themselves, but that doesn't take away all the assets that they bring with them when they come into the camp. <laughs> if you can start the conversation with listening, it opens up the opportunity for that person not only to be heard, but to feel like they're part of the solution. When a community itself feels empowered and has the right skills and capacity to take the program and expand it and run it without outside influence, I feel like that is success. We take hope very seriously. These children, boys and girls, are going to be the leaders supporting their hopes and aspirations for a peaceful life is making the world a more peaceful and more humane place for everyone. I act because I know that we can live in a peaceful world. And I know that if people are empowered and feel fulfilled, then peace will come. I act because I'm a father and I believe that uh, every father should be able to give their children hope.